Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be importing all of our low poly human FBX files into Unity. So I just created a new 3D project. It's empty for now. I also realized I only have a few FBX files for some reason and I was sure I exported all the other ones but it seems like I only have the jumping. So I'll just have to export that again. I'll go into Blender, export the base animation file as low poly human and then I'll just go and uh, open up each one of these idle, run, walk animations and I will just export them. Whenever you're exporting just get the name correctly, click selected objects right here and check the scale. Also before you export make sure you selected only the armature. So select the armature like this, export, click selected objects, turn off scale right here, get the name correctly and export. Once in here you can find the files and then just take them all and drag them into the well the project. There we go. You should get a FBX file with the character here. And for the rest of the animations, we we'll need to do some setting up. First, let's go to our low poly human FBX file. And if you want to get that low poly human FBX file, just open up the animation, uh, save, and then just select both the armature and the model like this, and then export FBX, click selected objects, and uncheck scale, and then export. Once you got that in here, you need to go to uh, Rig, change the animation type from generic to humanoid, click create from this model and apply. Now in your animations with just left clicking and then shift left click, you can select all of them, go to Rig, change the animation type to humanoid, copy from other avatar and then select the low poly human avatar. or the one that you just created. Now in the animations right here, uh, whenever we're falling, we want to loop the animation. So just click loop here and apply. And you, here you can see the animation for the jump. We don't want to loop that for the uh, landing. We also don't want to loop that. And for the run, we do want to loop that. We have the walk, which we also want to loop. And I think we're missing one animation, which is the idle animation, because I haven't dragged it in. So I'll just find it now. You'll have to go back and change the rig type to a human avatar, and then just loop the animation. Now, if you, if you really want it, you could create a animator controller, just a quick one, just to show you how this should look. So you give the character the animator controller, open up the animator controller like this, uh, drag the animations in there. Uh, I'll just give him the idle animation for now. And now if we play the game, it should play the idle animation. And now it plays the idle animation whenever we start. Easy as that. In the future episodes, I think I will show you how to create a controller with this because it's just so nice to have that. But for now, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully you learn something new. Subscribe, like, do all that thing. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.